air, on water, and on land, all their engines have one thing in common. Speed, power, endurance, yes indeed, but something else too, something small, but all important. KLG plugs, made by Smith's Industries. For all these high performance engines, KLG, the plug that has helped set up so many world speed records, provides the vital spark. KLG have now introduced a new plug, specially developed for the motoring enthusiast who drives his car hard. A super plug for the driver who takes pride and pleasure in getting better than standard performance from his standard model. The GT super plug is what we call it, but what you'd like to know is what's so special about it, no doubt. We developed this plug because of the increasing demands that are being made on spark plug performance. In traffic jams like this, the plugs are not reaching the best operating temperature. This allows combustion deposits and even oil to build up, which results in a rough engine and limited acceleration when you put your foot down. On the other hand, it is possible to reach such high temperatures on the open road that pre-ignition can take place and result in a damaged engine between these two extremes of traffic conditions, there is a plug temperature difference of about 600 degrees centigrade. To design a plug that will function perfectly over this wide temperature range was a major problem, but we solved it. Let me explain. This is a sectional diagram of the GT plug. Very much larger than life, of course, so you can easily see the principal features. First, the insulator. We've given the insulator a big projecting nose that thrusts deep into the combustion chamber. It stays hot when the engine is idling, but is kept below dangerous temperatures at high speed by cool mixture sweeping across it. This means consistent performance with lively acceleration. Next, the electrodes. They're extra thick and extra tough and keep their sharp edges longer. They slow down erosion, reduce voltage, and prolong the period between re-gapping. The result is performance plus economy. Now the body. It's nickel plated for maximum protection. And we've made the external seating washer of copper so that the cylinder head isn't damaged. And we've nickel plated the terminal nut as well for extra protection. So you can rely on the GT plug for good performance and long life. Finally, the insulator material. This is Hylumina, the incredibly tough ceramic used in racing and aircraft plugs and jet igniters. It conducts heat away well, prevents any leakage, and ensures perfect insulation throughout the range. So that's the formula. And this is the plug being tested to its limits in this laboratory where every possible type of traffic condition can be simulated. Many stringent specifications had to be met before we would release the plug for sale to the public. When the tests were finally completed, volume production was begun. Here's one of the machines that form the electrodes. It cuts and fashions them from continuous lengths of special wire. Then the threads are put on by other high-speed machines. The bodies are made by another range of machines. In a matter of moments, they complete an intricate automatic sequence of precision forming operations. 
welding the earth point and bending it into position is done automatically too. Making the insulators is a multi-stage operation entailing many precisely controlled processes. It begins with this battery of mills where fluxes and binders are blended with alumina powder which is then pumped into arc mixers for very thorough mixing. The resulting mix is prepared for dry pressing in this large spray dryer. After drying, the alumina powder is brought to this machine shop where it's molded by pressure into insulator blanks. And the blanks are formed by high-speed grinding. The insulators must now be fired. As they pass slowly through the long gas-fired kilns, they shrink to less than four-fifths of their original size and are transformed into the super-strong ceramic called Hylumina. Glazing is the next stage. A solution containing glass particles is sprayed onto the upper part of each insulator which then passes through a drying chamber and into an electric kiln which fires the glaze. This operator is inserting a copper glass pellet into each insulator and fitting it with its center electrode and terminal pin. The insulators are now conveyed through an electric furnace which fuses the copper glass pellet to the inside of the insulator and completely seals it. The progress of the operation is shown by this illuminated control panel. The insulator is assembled to the body by the hot shrink process. In other words, the body is expanded by heating to receive the insulator, which it grips like a vice as it cools and contracts. A series of tests takes place at various stages to ensure the high quality required for the GT plugs. The insulators are given a stringent electrical test. Then the sealed centers undergo a leakage test. Each assembly is checked for leakage at a temperature similar to engine conditions. file is carefully checked and so is the gap setting. On completion, every single plug is individually inspected. Finally, the plugs are packaged in sets of four in their distinctive pack. one highly satisfied customer. More exhilarating motoring will be your reward too when you fit the KLG GT Super Plug for big performance and acceleration, for greater economy and longer